Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. This one I'm going to be doing some woodwork again and uh, making a little inlay on a guitar. Let's go see how I did this one. So here we have a guitar in progress. We have the rosette in and I calculate that my bridge is going to go roughly there and that means I've got this really nice big chunk of space there to do something with. I thought to myself oh, it would be nice if I could put a little birdie there or something. So I thought let's do an inlay of a bird. I'm going to take some timbers of different colours left over from making other ukuleles or from scrap and I'm going to cut and thin it down to about a millimetre with a spoke shape, a plane or sand it. Now with a knife, a very sharp knife, I'm going to cut out the pieces like a jigsaw puzzle. And you're going to apply a little bit of glue to the wood, not the paper. That is so that when you put the paper on, it doesn't get time to get wet and then stretch and distort. So that it is now going to be the right shape. So now we have all the pieces there. Next, with your sharp knife, you're going to then score and cut all the excess material off right on that edge so they're going to fit together properly. Now, some timbers are going to be a little bit more difficult than others but take your time and sometimes you've got to cut out bits like this but work your way through it. So that that cut is right on the edge of that paper and perpendicular so they'll fit together properly. The next step consists of gluing all those pieces together on top of a, preferably on top of a copy of the original, making sure all those edges are going to fit absolutely precisely and you may have to clean up some of those edges and sand them maybe just to make sure that they go really well together and then glue them down. It is a good idea to just put a piece of some paper on top as well just to unite all those bits and hold them together on the top as well. Then we decide where we're going to put it on the body there, orient it well and then just tack it down as we're doing rosettes so that it doesn't move. Then with that very sharp knife I'm going to go right butted against that and cut through the paper scoring a line into the body and we're going to go around several times lightly at first and then heavier to get a score of about a millimetre deep. Carefully remove it. Then carefully chisel out of that gap one millimeter. Then with my depth gauge, this block of wood with a screw a slot so I can see the point is now going to screw screwed into one millimeter deeper than the two legs and then I'm going to just make sure I've checked my depth and router out any excess or chisel out the excess to get it all totally flush at one millimeter. It should be half of the lid. So that should now fit in there very nice and precisely. 
Now we need to remove that paper very carefully with some sandpaper. and flush. And then we'll apply some varnish. 